Right, good evening everybody. Right, we are doing... Car insurance this evening. Hope everybody is well. And, uh, and uh, enjoy themselves. We're having a nice day at least. Um, so here are we creating a... Uh, to Fiesta. Um, I'm very well, thank you very much. Right, I'm going to run around to the other side of the car. For Heritage Car Insurance. I'm going solo this evening, so not chatting to the owner, but the owner is Alex Young, who owns four classic different Fords. Um, so I'll be creating one of them, which is a Ford uh, Fiesta Mark II. Um, so we've got a little bit of information around, about it. Um, it's also got a Ford Transit and all kinds of other good stuff as well. Um, but this evening we're all creating the Fiesta here in the mobile car studio, uh, which some of you may have seen at the uh, at the. NEC Classic Car Show over the weekend. So if you are new to the feed, um, welcome along. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Um, so I say doing these for Heritage Classic Car Insurance. Um, so we started off with their logo many weeks ago, a few weeks ago now. Um, so the Heritage logo, and then the first one was a Opal Manta, um, and then we had a VW Beetle. And then we had an Aston Martin as well, which is rather lovely in green, kind of goldy greeny bronze. Um, and then we had a Ford console as well. And then a Porsche, because you know, classic Porsche. Um, a Lotus Elite in blue. Um, a Land Rover Series 3. You know that because that headlights are on the outside. Um, and then we had a VW Carmen gear as well. And then it had a, a Bath 695 a replica. And then a Ford Escort uh, RS2000. And then a Toyota uh, Land Cruiser. And then last week we had the VW Beetle Super Beetle as well, known as a Growler. Um, so... We are going to crack on, and this is today's subject, which is a Ford Fiesta Mark uh, Mark II, uh, which is, uh, as I say, owned by Alex Young. Um, so we've got a little bit of information about it. It has been fully restored. Uh, they also own a, a, so we've got a Mark II Escort, Mark III Escort, and what I personally really love is this... Um, is a transit the transit the transit van as well uh, which you know, is a lovely thing to see that's uh, so but we're going to have a go at doing the fiesta this evening um so it, it's, a, it's a family uh, family family affair as it were um alex has uh, been been restoring these with with his dad who suddenly passed away however these have been projects that have been done. Um, loves the car community, going to events, um, uh, and with his family as well. Um, his favourite vehicle is the Mark II Escort, as it's very nippy. Um, has just enjoyed Fords, you know. Just that, that's, that's where the the Ford theme has come from. So, um, so yeah. So I'm going to be creating this particular one which is his partner's favorite one um so yeah so that's what we're going to be doing this evening so here from the mobile studio just outside well the studio outside my studio um so yeah if you want to join in the live have a little chat feel free um just make sure it's all working okay live on facebook as well i say no Nobody's joining this evening, it's just uh, I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to join. Make sure it's all working a okay. Yeah, it is all good. 
So yeah, I'm going to have a little wobble on. I'll talk about the uh, classic car show over the weekend. But historics, thanks for tuning in. Heritage Car Insurance, how you doing? Well, my dad has sent a request to be in the video. <laughs> okay, dad, right, let's have a little chat. Go on then. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Well, you can read the comments for me, but you need to turn the phone the other way. You need to turn your phone around the other way. Yeah. There we are. So, oh, there we are. Hi, Dad. How you doing? That's fine. Well, I what I can do is I can turn my headphones off because otherwise it won't it won't um, it won't work on there. So hopefully I can hear you out loud. Yeah. Can you have a little chat now, Dad? I can hear you. You can hear me. Excellent. I can hear you, and you can see the screen, which is the main thing. Yep. So yeah, we're having a go at creating a mark. Uh, Mark to S, yeah, Mark to Fiesta. So, if you want to find some facts for me, Dad, that'd be awesome. <laughs> on, a, on a Mark to S, Mark. Can you do that? Hang on a minute, technical, technical, technicalities as always. So, I'll just make sure my earpods aren't connected. Uh, where's that going? Oh, you're frozen, Dad. So I'm out. We'll try that again. My dad jumped in on the live. as well on Facebook as well just getting live back up on Instagram there we are and then I'll send it back out to dad right so there we are dad try that again I'll be back. Oh, we're back. We're now back on. Thank you very much. Sorry about it. It had a, it had, it had a little uh, problem there. Right, so we are drawing a Mark II Fiesta, okay? Right. Right, so how are we doing? So we have some, some interesting facts about a Mark... The, uh, the the Mark II Fiesta, and I'll crack on and start drawing it. Okay, right. Well, I, I, I've done a little bit of research here, in, and apparently uh, it was launched in 1983. Not, well, peak year, 1983. It was a good year, right? So, so continuous car drawing for those who missed it earlier. So, I'm going to be creating this Mark II uh, Fiesta as a continuous car drawing, part of the Heritage Car Insurance. Um, uh, ongoing series that we've been doing. So if you missed it earlier on the live, 
here are some of the previous ones, the Heritage logo, and then the Manta, VW, Aston Martin, the console, Porsche, Elite, Land Rover, Common Gear, Arbath, Ford, Land Cruiser, and Beetle. So quite a varied, which one's your favorite so far, Dad? Um, I, I mean, the obvious one is the Beetle, because that, that's, it, it's just um, a, a, such an iconic shape, isn't it? It's such an iconic car is, it, is the old Beetle. And if, and if you see um, people commenting on the live, just uh, let me know if people are saying hello or, yeah. or whoever's joining, give them a little shout out people as well. Are joining. I mean, Aidan Buckley has joined, um, London Supercars 101, uh, and Ian Bars by Photographer has joined. Oh, lovely. Well, Welcome to Grant Parker, 91, and Prostrate Cancer UK Rallycross has also joined. Welcome to all of those. All right, welcome. I'm going to change my pen over because the pen is looking, eh, looking a little bit used, that pen is. So well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to swap them over. There we are. The pen has not left the paper. I just changed over the pen, that was all. Um, that's, a, that's a well worn out pen there, I guess. Yeah, that, that one can go in the bin. There we are. It's gone. Um, it's not on the. Yeah, it's, there we are. So, so I'm going to start by doing the outline, one continuous line. That's why it's called continuous car drawing. It's because the outline is all done in one single line. And we are well over 1,100 1, drawings now in the ongoing series. Oh, um, Simon UK has joined, and Co Corolla has joined, as well as your brother. And my brother has joined as well. There Welcome we are. to Simon Cook 81. There we are. So, as I say, it's going to look very 80s, this car. It's quite, it's quite, um, quite, you know, interesting that a lot of the 80s cars all look very similar. So, like, 205 GTI, the, uh, the, uh, the Polo I've done as well. Looks, they all look quite similar in design. So, it's not until you get the kind of features in, they start really kind of taking shape. So, so what, what were you saying about the history of this particular era? Oh. So, so you can name. Can you tell me when the Mark One Fiesta was first launched? When it went on sale? What year? I reckon that was probably you know what. what uh, if this is the Mark Two, which is an eighty-three, generally cars are on the market for five years. So I think the Mark okay. One was probably late set, like seventy-six, maybe. Oh, spot on, Ian. 1976. There we are. I didn't I, honestly. I didn't even know that. <laughs> that was a, that, that was a guess. So that was yeah, yeah, spot on. Um, well, ge well, generally, public... generally, that is because a car has a lifespan of about seven years. It has a, a facelift after about three years. So yes, yeah, mm. so that's that was my guess. Yeah. No. And uh, it was cheap to buy and cheap to run. It was a Fiesta Mark One. Okay. So. In 1983, they launched the Fiesta Mark II uh, with a rounder front, you'll have noticed. It is a little bit rounder, as it, you know, fame, you know cars of the era. I think, it, you know, you always say that when you first saw the Sierra, it was like this, wow, this kind of curvy, yeah. cur more curvy car came along. Yeah, there was, there was nothing else on the market like it when that, that came out. And I still remember very vividly walk, uh, cycling to work and seeing this this rounded car, which was such a difference to all the other cars that have been drawn with rulers, seemingly. Well, interesting enough, um, a Sierra a Sierra Cosworth at the weekend at the NEC Classic, I think went for one hundred and twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> so yeah, they certainly uh, yeah going up in value. Yeah. So the uh, the, the new Fiesta Mark II. Uh, had a spruced up interior and a new dashboard and it had the option of a 1.6 diesel engine mm. well that's uh yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't you know diesel's not such a not such a a thing now you know not not as popular but uh i imagine back then that was quite a thing to have a diesel engine put in yeah um five-speed manual gearbox high security chub locks and an option for an automatic gearbox was also added to the mix. Mm, there we are. So, and uh, and how and oh, how 
And how long was it? The, was it on the market for long? What well, you know? Did it have a, uh, a refresh? Alex, just, just, be, just before it disappears off the screen, Alex Young says hi here. Looking forward to seeing this through. He says, "Oh, the, oh that it's, it's it's his car. There we are. That is why. Ah, right. That is okay, it's his car. He's looking forward to it then." I, uh, Alex, uh, I, I really like the transit, the transit, as a, uh, as a, uh, as a uh, Sniffer Smith would say. So that I personally, that was one of my. I, I loved the transit. I'd, I'd have loved to have done that one. But we're doing the cars, so it's fine. So um, maybe, maybe, yeah, had, maybe that would be the next one. And a number of other people joined. It's kind of gone on my screen too quickly, but uh, the car CH has joined. Uh, Richards, Richard Scallum. Uh, Lucid Idol Music has joined, and Mark J. Timms. Welcome to all of you. Well, there we are. Welcome along. Um, okay, so uh, it seemed to benefit from the minor changes. And what was its competitors, Ian? What was its competitors? Uh, well, you'd, you'd, mm. you'd, you'd have the Luton, the Luton lot, so you'd have your, you'd have your voxels. So Voxel yep. Nova. Yep, and uh, other Voxel. Voxel Nova VW Polo, I imagine. Yep. Uh, it managed to outsell that. Yep. Yeah, well, it would do because it's a it's a Ford, and it's and it's. I imagine <laughs> it was um. What else? What else would be in that area? It's a Ford Voxel. Oops. Oh, Nis Nissan, like the Pulsar, maybe Nissan. Or micro? Mm, yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, you've got the you've got the Corsa as well. Don't forget. Oh, the Vol yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. So, and you know, if, if Alice would like to say any facts about about this particular car, then then great. I've got yeah, you know, I had a little bit of information earlier about it as well. <laughs> Alex Young says, "Please draw me the transit as well." <laughs> but I, I'd love to, mate. Like the tra the transit looked looked awesome. I'll, I'll I'll flick back to an image of it in a minute. It looked it looked amazing. So I love the transit. When I when I was sent over the image, right. I was like, oh man. <laughs> right there we are. There's there's as I say, they they they, they all look quite similar. Like Peugeot two hundred five, VW. Like in this era, they all look. It's not until you get the, the kind of the details in. Then it will start coming to life. But there is the start of of the um, the uh, the Mark II Fiesta. So there it is, in nice, rather lovely blue as well. It looks like it's had a proper paint job on it as well, and it's got flared arches and all sorts. But but yeah, there is there is the transit as uh, as highlighted. It looks awesome, and I only didn't do the escorts because I've already done that era and I've done that era already. So. So it was more I had I haven't done a fiesta, so I thought I'd do a fiesta. So that's why I chose a fiesta over the escorts and the transit. Well, I didn't, the transit was an option. So, so there we are. Any more uh, any more uh, op, you know, uh, details for me, Dad? Well, I guess a, a few welcomes. Uh, Trip Speed has joined. Um, KSG Racing Photography and Hannah Ruth Scott has joined Ooh, along with are. Driveway Thirty One. There we are. There we are. Well, Hannah Scott is obviously uh, my cousin, so. She is indeed. And, um, yep. So there we so, are. So, uh, courtesy of projectbobcat.com, I can give you some useful facts and figures about the Ford Fiesta. Okay, there we are. Um, so, maximum length with overriders. Oh, now, is that in centimetres or inches? 3,695. Um, oh, in millimetres. It's 3,695 millimetres long. There we are. <laughs> and uh, 1,585 millimetres wide. So, relatively, yeah. Small but perfectly formed, you might say. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fuel tank capacity. The early Mark II models had a lower capacity tank. Um, and then that was boosted for the post-1985 models. So uh, the, the original one had 30, holds 34 litres. That's uh, seven and a half gallons. In old money, is that? In old money. Um, and went up to 40 litres. 
for the after 1985. Uh, and it, the permissible boat, uh, Toba, you could. Oh, it had to be yeah, 110 pounds, right? Could have roof rack. What was the? What? How much were they when they first came out? What was the? What was the? Uh, the costing of them? Let me. Uh... Let me have a quick look, and I will come back to you. So just getting the... Uh... Let's drop it in a colour on the bonnet now. Right, so... <laughs> Should I have like a, like kind of lift music right now? They're like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sing for you. But no. um... so, please hold, listener, whilst I go and get the facts for you. <laughs> yeah, it's actually incredibly difficult to find. Um, how much does Ford Fiesta cost? A new Ford Fiesta will cost a thousand pound less than the current model, which doesn't sell. Twelve thousand seven hundred and fifteen. That doesn't sound right no, for that, a nineteen eighty-three cost. No, nineteen eighty-three definitely. Not. No. No. A Ford Fiesta in nineteen seventy-seven started at one thousand eight hundred and fifty-six pounds. If only they cost that now. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No. So it's a little bit more pricey than that now, I'd imagine. Have we got any facts about 1983? About what else was, you know, what else was happening in the world in 1983? Obviously, apart from I was somebody, born. I was going to say, somebody was born in 1983. I mean, peak, peak year, 1983, obviously. Is your body work as good as the Fiesta? That's the question here. <laughs> I think I'm in need of some restoration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think definitely some rust appearing under under the arches. So, just getting the shading in now. Right, Wikipedia. What's what's Wikipedia got to tell us? It was a mild facelift of the original car, and was available in a three D three door hatchback and panel van styles. Ooh. And it was then replaced by the heavily updated Fiesta Mark III from nineteen eighty nine. August nineteen eighty three was when it first uh, when it first appeared. I guess. Uh, with a revised front end and interior, like we've said already. The most notable change involved the new wraparound headlights. Oh, there we are. Front chassis structure was widened, so it could hold a five-speed transmission. I suppose five-speed in those days was, was, was a new innovation, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, don't forget the Chevette. Uh, the Chevette is a four-speed. Well, you know, well, the four-speed. So, yeah, five-speed would have been a... Relatively new thing. Mm. Yeah, it would have been. Uh, two two other versions of the Mark II Fiesta appeared in 1984, uh, and there was an updated XR2 model with a 1.6 liter, uh, 1.6 version of the CVH engine, and then the second generation Fiesta XR2 model came with a larger body kit. Well, this one looks and like featured... it has has a has been breathed on, as it say. It looks a little bit looks a little bit right. non-stock. So, Alex Alex Young has provided some more information. Uh, he says that the Fiesta is completely rebuilt, running a 1.7 ZTEC and induction from the Ford Puma. Oh yeah, see, I, I noticed that it has got a bit of it's got a um, 
It's got a bit of an air vents and stuff. Right. So it's a proper rocket, he says. I was say, sprayed in Escort Codsworth Blue. I was going to say, it definitely looks breathed on and modified. Um, to, uh, But yeah, so that would make sense. So it takes the Puma engine, which is the, the later gen car, which is like, you know, kind of from a different era. So, uh, yeah, so basically similar to what we're doing with the Chevette, where we're taking a, an engine from yeah. a different car and, and making it better. Uh, the 1986 upgrade, the XR2's engine was replaced by a lean burn variant in November 1986 and featured a revised cylinder head and carburetor. Mm. Uh, this reduced emissions but resulted in a small drop of power. Uh, at this point, the manufacturer also took the opportunity to offer a five speed manual transmission already standard on the 1.3 litre model as an option in the upgraded 1.1 litre car. So it was tweaked. And, yeah, and then in May 1987, Ford added the new CTX uh, continuously variable transmission to the range. All that was only on the 1.1 engine. Very few of those were produced, apparently. Oh. So that'll make them a bit rarer. A bit, yeah. mm. If there's any of them on the road still, maybe. Ah, um, oh, that's a car you didn't mention. So the uh, the Mark II Fiesta are facing competition from the Vauxhall Nova and your granddad's favourite car. Oh the oh the oh, the Metro, wouldn't it? With the it would be, it'd be the Metro. The, it'd be the Metro, yeah. of course. The Austin Metro. I've got one of those to do. I've got I've got a Metro to do actually. It's very much on the to do list. Oh. Along with many other cars that I haven't done yet. Yeah. Uh, in 1987, over that was the best year, over 150,000 Fiesta models were sold in the UK. Right. Although it was still second to the Ford Escort. Crikey. So, yeah, so it played, played a bit of catch up, but yeah, it was still popular. In, uh, in Germany, West Germany, uh, the Fiesta outsold the Volkswagen Polo in. 84, 85, and 89. Oh. That's pretty so impressive. They were really com a... competitive, weren't they, the two of them? They always have been, yeah. They always had that, uh, yeah, those, those popular models in the brand. Mm. Anybody else joining and saying hello? Oh, we've got a few. Uh, RWC Photo, uh, King Crossman 1000. Um, Augustin Gonzales 24 and Blaine 54. Okay, cool. Welcome to all of those. Welcome along. Thanks for joining. Heritage Classic Car Insurance Live this evening. And then creating a customer vehicle. And eventually this will then go on to mugs and teas and the, uh, it will be sent out. So he has the original and this on, on a few other things. So. Um, by April 1989, when a new generation of Fiesta was launched, so I guess that's the Mark III, uh, combined production and sales of the first two generations of Fiesta uh, produced between 1976 and 1989 had exceeded 4.5 million units. Oh, that's a lot. So a popular little car. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh... Yeah, pretty good. So I'm just uh, getting the wing mirror in and. Has he got two wing mirrors? This gener I got, by it, it has got two, yeah. So by, no, yeah, because it was nine. I think it was just. I think by the 80s, it was, wing mirrors were on both sides were uh, were, were standard. Yeah, looking at the images I've got, they've all got they've all got wing mirrors on both sides. Uh, Moving Metal 576 has joined us, along with Peugeot Planet. Peugeot Planet. Oh. I'm sorry, Peugeot Planet, we are doing a uh, a Ford. But, you know, I have done a few Peugeot Pan yeah, Peugeot, so not all is lost. Do not worry. And welcome to Thunderman City. What else can we find out about the... Uh...
So what was your favourite thing about the classic car show at the weekend then, Dad? What was, I say, yeah, what, was, what, did, what did you enjoy? Mm. I mean, I, th I think that the, the two military Land Rovers opposite us were always an attraction, weren't they? Um, yeah. With their hardware. Um, I, th I think generally, Ian, I think it was just nice to see just so many cars, you know, vintage and, 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 uh, and older cars in one, you know, classic cars in one place. Yeah. And the people that go with them as well, obviously. And a lot of happy people who were very happy to be able to get out and actually come and see said classic cars. Yeah, because I think a show like that it is about you know the amount of what di you know diversity and just the amount of stuff that's on display. It's just you can't yeah you, know, you can't do that virtually. You really have to see kind of the amount of vehicles and different types and yeah, you know, all the club stands and all that kind of stuff was really, really interesting. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Richard Ellis Roberts. He's, uh, he's just joined us. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think it was just nice to see, um, a lot of, a lot of very, very nice classic cars in, uh, in, Oh, what was it? Five halls it covered, didn't well, it? It was five. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get to see hall eight. I believe there was a lot of, Fast forwards in four in Hall Eight, I believe. So, ah, yeah, we didn't see a lot of the show, did we? <laughs> no, didn't really get to see much. So, <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah, we're doing a, doing a job. We're there to do a job, really. So, but so. it was lovely to meet lots of lovely people, as you said. It was, you know, and you and you you were kind of renewed a lot of friendships and uh, met a lot of very nice people who um, who love your artwork and uh, and I guess would like one. Um, Heritage Insurance says it's looking great. Ian, love the colour. It's getting out. It's getting out. Glad you enjoy. It's also live on Facebook, so you can you, know, you can comment on Facebook, and Heritage will uh, will drop in any comments if you've got any queer questions or queries or anything particular. If you want to know about commissions, etc., yeah, etc. We've, we've not had any questions come up, Stafford. Stafford. J one two three four five has joined us. What? Um, just thinking back to your to your the, the, the Peugeot viewer, the Panic Peugeot Planet. Um, I've got here in front of me uh, classic honest John .co .uk says that um, the tastes of hot hash customers were satisfied by the XR two version, which in truth was not a patch on rival such as the Peugeot two hundred five GTI. Well, yeah, the 205 GTI. Well, the 205 GTI is quite an iconic vehicle in itself, so it's still uh... Yeah, but it's sold, sold in droves, it said, the, the XR2. So, uh... Yeah, bit of, sport, bit of sportiness, bit of, bit of uh, you know... We have Road Racery Rally and John Joed. John Joed. John Joed. Well, well. Thanks, sir. Steve IB27 has also just joined us. There we are. Mm -hmm. But uh, your your drawing looks like it's it's uh, it's getting there, Ian. Let's take a shape. Let's take a shape. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for for jumping in. I didn't expect you to join me. Well, that was like unexpected. I thought, oh, well, I'll let him in. I'll let him in. I'll let him in. Well, I thought you could maybe do with a, with a little bit of company. <laughs> a bit of company. I'm alone since tonight. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and your mum's iPad's coming very useful for giving me the facts. Oh, there we so, are. So, uh, so there we are. Joint effort here. Excellent. Well, well done. Well done. So, just adding the details into the headlights. Were there any uh, any? No, sometimes they, you know, they kind of put famous owner. Any 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 well known folk have have oh, the well, have the. Uh... I'll have a look. Well, 
hasn't come up with any any famous owners. No famous. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure it was. Uh, I'm, sure a, a fa- I'm sure it was a favourite amongst many. You know. Of that era. Well, I've got a nice image in front of me from uh, from carparsonleasing.co.uk of uh, of all the generations of Fiestas. It's kind of quite interesting to see how they've grown over the years from the Mark One through to. Uh, We're at Mark Eight now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you look at them like that, you kind of realise just how big cars have got, and how small they were in the in the seventies and eighties. I mean, I remember going to the uh, the Ford, uh, the shed they call it down in Dagenham, and uh, yeah, to see like some of the older stuff now and how it, yeah, how small it looked. Like uh, I think a, mi- a mini, an original mini, passed me on the on the way to work today, and um, it's just like you realise how dingy it is, how dirty they are. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the story of the Ford Fiesta began with the launch of Project Bobcat in 1972. Okay. Do you know what Ford needs? It says the most outstanding small car in the world has ever seen. No, we can't do that. It'll never sell. Just you wait, says the conversation. Oh, yeah. So where was it built originally? Where was it? Was it? Is it? Was it? A... Ger- Germany, I believe. Is. Yeah, Cologne is normally where there. I think I've just read that the only place it was built is in it was in in Germany. Um. Of course, 1973, we had the oil crisis, which you won't remember because uh, you weren't even a twinkle in my eye at that point. Um, and because of that, you needed they needed a, a smaller, affordable, compact car. Uh, and the Fiat 127 and the Renault 5 had already been launched. So Ford needed to do something, and that's when they came up with the Fiesta. Oh yeah, of course the Renault, the Renault, there was a Renault Five Turbo as well. That would have been a that yeah. would have been a competitor for it as well. I had a friend who had a Renault Five. It's quite a, yeah. I can I can kind of see why. Um, apparently, the marketing team when it, when the Fiesta first came out was pushing for the name Bravo, but Henry Ford the Second vetoed it. He wanted the name of the new car for the Fiesta. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, Bravo doesn't quite have the same... Uh, yeah, but Fiesta it. means party in Spanish and it captured the spirit of the small vehicle. So, uh, so that's where it was. And uh, opening of the new Ford factory in Valencia. So is that where it was built, the the Valencia, or Germany? We've got got, uh, Archie Sept 234, Lisa Raver, Jack Vincent 251. And VR card detailing. Oh, well, I, uh, I know, I, I know, I know that chap. That's the, that's the detailer down at uh, GT One Hundred and One who looks after lots of Fords. He, he'd like this because it's a Ford. He's a, he's an Essex boy, so ah. he'd appreciate a Ford. Now, now earlier when we were talking about what other, what, what rivals they had, you mentioned the Nissan, and you were right in the Nissan Micra. No, I'm micro, yeah. Was was there. And the lots of aftermarket conversions were available, the best known being the Turbo Technics. Okay. <laughs> Lisa Rover says, I bought stickers at the car show on the weekend, so I followed you on here. Well, there we are. Thank you very much for buying stickers. Oh, uh, and BR Car Detailing is saying, evening Ian, 
Evening, Seth. Evening. I say it, 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 he's definitely uh, he's a detail. He definitely would have polished some Fords in his time, I reckon. Yeah, probably almost, oh, you know, almost certainly the uh, the one that was at the show at the weekend was uh, was Mr. Clarkson's old GT. So I imagine he probably uh, detailed that recently. What else have we got? Uh, we have special variants. We have the F Fides, the Festival, and the Olympus Sport, which joined the core range model of the popular, the Popular Plus L, the Gear, and the XR2. Yeah, so a few, a few, a few little model upgrades then. Uh, Nineteen eighty nine saw the Fiesta Mark III, and nineteen ninety six the Fiesta Mark IV. So VR car detailing, forty and fifty four GTs. Clarkson's old one. I've never, I've not touched. Oh, he hasn't touched. All oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> Westwood Brown has joined us. Oh, I'm just getting the the shade. This is where it's interesting about eighties cars. It's just these like little. Little touches just start to bring the shape out a bit more. Mm. That's it, because they're, they're all quite similar. 205 GTI, Polos, they're all kind of a very similar shape. Yeah, I mean, just kind of flicking through the different marks, it's quite interesting to see how, how the curviness comes in. And, and, and as time goes on, each, each mark gets curvier and curvier. Yeah. Um, Perhaps, uh, perhaps the uh, the Mark IV is the least. Um, I guess it kind of steps between that and the the Mark V, which well, we had a Mark IV and uh, and a Mark V. Yeah, Mum had a few, a few. Uh, she fiestas. had a few Fiestas, yeah. Yeah. We were in the, in the me and Simon were definitely put in the back of a few. Indeed, you have. Um, Aaron Fred 90, um, Sticks Pie, and Dylan SO3 has joined us. Welcome to you. Thanks for joining and watching. Um, you're probably having your dinner or something, I imagine. So that's. Uh... <laughs> All right. So, so be our card detailing and then comments, uh, hence why it's kind of rough. <laughs> oh, that's why the because he hasn't been near it. That's the thing because he hasn't been yeah. near it. If he, if he had been near it, it would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've I've drawn his. Well, I don't know if he's got it. He had a, he had a uh, Porsche GT three. So I think he's. I think that's gold now. So and he liked it so much. He had it drawn twice actually. He had a. He had a front, a front, a front version of it and a three-quarter angle of it. Right. When I got better at doing them. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I stopped doing them. Well, they haven't stopped doing front angles. I just uh, sometimes. So sometimes... how many how many Ford how many Ford Fiesta have you have you drawn here? Done a few mark uh, different marks and uh, yeah later versions I've done. I've done a lot of escort. That's why I didn't do the escort. I thought I'd do I'd do the fiestas because I haven't done that many fiestas. So I thought I'd do a fiesta. Um, but I did love the transit as well. The transit, I was I I loved the look of that one. But had to be the car. The car had to be done. So mildly interesting battle is joined this. Oh hello, hello. That, that's uh, Mr. Mr. Connor. Uh huh. Welcome. He signed the car at the weekend. He's not bad with it. With you've a, got quite a, he's, he's all right with the you've camera. Got quite a few, yeah, you've got quite a few signatures now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got, got, a, got a few over the weekend. Always good. So people who got involved with the project have signed the car. Mm. So you, you, have you done a Mark 1 for yesterday, Ian? Uh, no, no, I haven't. No, I've done Mark, 
This is the earliest mark, but I have done other generations of Fiesta. Right. So. James Wall won, has joined us, along with Elijah Wilbury Racing 96. Well, I wonder what they race. I don't know, maybe they'll tell us. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Always nice to know what people are racing. So are we on finishing touches now around the wheel? Yeah, it's doing the, the, it's doing the outlet. It's got some really nice alloys on it. It's got some non-standard kind of uh, aftermarket wheels on it. So just doing the, the spokes on that. I've just got the windows to do as well. Peacock and Bear has joined. Peacock and Bear, there we are. Because you can't actually see the... Uh... No, I don't, I don't know. But recently, I just I haven't been able to see the uh, the uh, who's joining. For some reason, I used to be able to, but I think my laptop needs a uh, a bit of a uh, a uh, upgrade. It needs uh -huh. new new software or something. So it means I can't see who's joining. Sadly, I've tried. Uh, I've tried to J, look. J J forty four Y has joined us. Um. So, but obviously it's on Facebook as well, so you can watch it back on Facebook. And I'm sure people are joining on there as well, but the people we can see are on Instagram. And uh, it's generally done every Tuesday. Um, there's a live. So, so what, what car haven't you done that you would really love to do? Oh. Apart from a transit van. <laughs> yeah, transit. Um... I have done a transit, just not that generation of transit. That's all. So, um, I don't. I've got a load. I've got loads. I've, I've got loads on the to do list. So, and there's uh, yeah. You know, I always like it when new things come in. Yeah, you know, stuff I haven't done. So there's a couple of really lovely classics. There's a, a really old school like Saab. I think it's a Saab that I need to do. That's gonna look really nice. We've got a couple of race cars. And obviously. People are currently putting their orders in for Christmas, so there's lots of kind of offline surprise ones that I need to do for for yeah. people who ordered for their partners. So, and, and if anybody else, I guess, wants to order for Christmas, they're going to need to get in there pretty quickly. Pretty soon, yes. Yeah, it's getting very busy. So, well, it's already busy, but uh, yeah, it's getting busier. Uh, so, which is nice to be busy, just, um, yeah, if they want so to... So many online sales, you know, we, we, you could do without anybody ordering a mug on the 24th. Yes, if you want to have, yeah, you can always go and check out the shop, but order in plenty of time, please, thanks. Christmas is at the same time every year, so... so Not about the same date, isn't it? It's the same date, but, you know, we, we, we'd like to be a little bit more prepped, if possible. <laughs> yeah. Stick Stick Spy says party. Party, there we are. Always like a party. Well, it's a party in the back of a car for me. That's the that's where I am. Ah. Right, so KSG Racing asked photo right, sorry, KSG Racing Photography asked, do you sell your drawings or just stickers and stuff? I sell the drawings and I sell stickers. The Commissions new. are you really, aren't they? Yeah. I do original drawings, uh, which are all bought, generally. Um, and then I do stickers of them as well. Stickers and tees and mugs, etc, etc. I hope I pronounced this right. Kyo Jitsu has joined. So just... Uh... Ah, KSU Racing. Cool. So just contact you by email, ian at yeah. That's the one. Just uh, get in touch if you're interested. And uh, yeah, they look like this. They're 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres in size. Um, and the lucky customers of Heritage are having the original drawing um, and then uh, having two mugs and a T-shirt with their vehicle on it as well. So... 
Pretty cool. And for those who've joined, who, who, who missed the beginning, Ian, just explain how you start your drawings and why they're called continuous cards. They're called card. continuous card drawings. One, I've been doing them continuously pretty much since March of last year, since lockdown part one. Um, and the initial outline is all done in one single line without taking the pen off the paper. So even when that pen doesn't work properly, I'll swap it over with another one, which does work. <laughs> And I don't take so the it's pen. one continuous line. It's and one... are the, the videos that we do are they are they online somewhere that people can watch? People can watch this back on Facebook, uh, on Facebook Live, on the on uh, on the Heritage um, Facebook page, and then uh, yeah, also they can watch it back on IGTV because it's recorded to IGTV, and then uh, that's 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 where they can be seen at the moment. There's various videos on my YouTube okay. channel from last year and. I'm aiming to add some more on there as well. So we've got two more joined us. Um, Mind us two and daily car design doodle. Oh, have joined yeah. us and Sprocket the one ten. Well, I've done I've done Sprocket the one ten already. I've done that as a that's uh, a Land Rover. Um, so I've done that as a drawing that was not so long ago. It was in the nine hundreds. Um, I believe I've sent a mug today actually to him. Ah. So posted today, you should get them there. Should be there tomorrow, tomorrowish, hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, I, I guess from the picture, the Sprocket One Ten was um, was a, a Land Rover. Yeah, one one ten Land Rover. Well, what actually there's two. He's got, he's got a one ten and a ninety. Ah. Okay, no. So just doing the wing mirror there. And as well, and hopefully, if uh, there are any questions on the Facebook page and the heritage, will we will we will we telling me or will we message him to let us know if people got any questions on the Facebook page? So I'm just going to do the highlights on the wheel. So nearly there. Let's add a bit of shading underneath to give it a I'm bit of. Say it's looking looking pretty much complete now. Look at give it a bit of gravy gravy test, as they like to call it. A bit of gravy test. So not only have you added a Mark II Escort to your repertoire. You've also learned a bit about it as well. Yeah, we also learned all but I have I have drawn its competitors previously as well. So two or five GTI and other ones have been drawn as part of this series. Nissan Micro? Yeah, another micro, yeah. Alright. Look at the micros. Ian five one five has joined us. Excellent name, Ian. Well done. I approve of your name. As long as it's spelt, spelt the correct way, not the... Oh, it's, it's got the extra I in it. Oh, has it? Well, that's fine. Equally, that's fine. Scottish <laughs> Scottish for John. Well, I hope the uh, the owner of the Mark II is happy with your drawing. It's looking great. Well, I hope so, too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. A nice bit of a... I say looks looks nice. Bit of bit of wide body on the arches as well, and um, add a bit of bit of grey around it as well. So interesting when you when you did the paintings with the radio control cars putting the lights in was always kind of like what made the car kind of come alive but with your drawings it, it doesn't have the same effect does it yeah. more the wheels yeah it's more wheels and yeah, i think it's more about the overall 
Yeah. Oh, because they are slightly more kind of you know cartoon. Yeah, they're kind of foreshortened. Well, they're graphics, the... aren't they? Rather than rather than a painting, they're a graphic drawing. Yeah. And very competent too. Well, oh, thank you. Thank I didn't. Uh, didn't even pay you to say that either. That's really. I think I think Alex likes it. Yeah, he likes it. Also, Ian. Oh, well, good. Well, wow, I'm glad you like it. Good. Just have to do the transit next. That's all. <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind you drawing his transit. The... And I guess he's looking forward to his mugs and t-shirt as well. Oh, they, and they do look nice, so I'll get that ordered tomorrow for it. It's photographed and edited. So, there we are. And there we are. So, there is a said... Just do the details in there as well, just to get the, this, because it has got these kind of additional wide body mm. bits to it on the side. And it's got a fuel filler can that's also silver there, and it's got the, not forgetting the hands there. And we're pretty much bang on an hour, which is awesome. It's always... We are indeed, yeah. Always good. And that's what they are, that is what the time scale of them done. So it's always done in one hour. So. There we are, pretty much, I'd say. I'm looking forward to seeing this up, so it's got the right angle so to it. it. It's, it's always difficult from this, uh, not quite the same. Yeah. There is the Mark II Fiesta as a continuous yeah. car drawing. There we are. Ta da! How's that? Well done. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining me, Dad. Much appreciated. Thanks for all the facts. KSG Racing Photography says that looks great. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you very much. No problems. Lovely to do it. Well, I hope, I hope my commentary helped you. Your commentary has helped. Oh, the facts have been brilliant. Thank you very much, everybody who's joined and watched and tuned in and commented. How did insurance? Absolutely fantastic. And Midas 2, top job. Oh, very sweet. That Mars, a very sweet of Midas 2. I, he was also at the Classic Car Show over the weekend. I've actually got some stickers of his on my own car now. So not even my own stickers, his stickers. That's how cool the stickers are. Oh. So... <laughs> Right, thanks for that. I will. Uh, I'll get this posted online ASAP. I've locked myself in my own car. There we are. And um, speak to you later. Bye. 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 There we are. There it is. Thanks very much, Dad. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And there he is. Fish piece. See you later.